guys, Brit Queen here, and this is my review of the Ninjago Character Encyclopedia. This is a 2012 release. It was just released, um, I think it came out in October. Um, this is the first time I've been able to find it. I've looked in stores and couldn't find it anywhere, so I actually had to order it. Um, and I can't remember if I ordered it from Books A Million or where I got it from. Uh, I ordered several books at the same time, and uh, I don't remember which came from which place. But this is the character encyclopedia, and you do get this figure that comes right here. It does not come built, but here's the figure that comes with it. And I'll go ahead and show you him first, because I know that is what most of you really care about, and I don't blame you. So, this is the uh, special Green Ninja that you get in this one. I'm trying to get my camera to focus right. There we go. So, and you've got his special kimono outfit here. And I'll go ahead and show you what he looks like next to the regular Green Ninja so that you can see all the changes that they've made with the kimono as compared to the regular one. So you can see uh, this right here was silver, and now it's gold, and these were a dark, dark gray, and now they're gold. And the outfit's different, the arms are a different color now. Just wanted to show you that. And I'm, I believe the faces stayed the same. Let me, let's look at that. Yeah, there's the, the faces. And there's the back. I'll go ahead and take the armor off, both of them, so you can see the changes on the back also. There's the back of both of them now. So, but this is the minifigure you get in the set. I say set, in the book, rather. But there is more to it than just having a minifigure with it. It is the encyclopedia, and as you can see at the bottom, minifigures, weapons, vehicles, dragons. And the minifigure is just inside this little plastic part when you get it. And I'll go ahead and show you a few of the pages anyway. Um, you have different... Let me adjust the camera first so you can see more. Maybe this will work better. <laughs> So, you can see some different stuff in here. Uh, it gives you the history of Ninjago. There's a picture of the dragons. And it gives you character pages, set pages, there's a couple of the sets. There's close ups on that dragon, and different ones. We've also got the skeletons there, the profiles of each one. And I'm just kind of try and skip to the towards the end past that. Here's the weapon pages. Tells you the name of each and every Ninjago weapon. It's pretty cool. There's another page of the weapons. I'm starting to get into some of the newer sets. Sam Samurai Mech, and let's see, Sonic Raider, there's the Energy Ninjas, and there's the pictures of the Green Ninja, the old one, and the new one in the book. We've got the snake profiles and all here, and let's see. Somewhere around here, we'll get to the, oh, there's the Wrecking Ball set. Let's see. More snake profiles. 
And there's the Spinner Snake Arena. Uh, there's the Epic Dragon Battle set. That was a cool set. I've got that. More on the weapons. And this is the only thing you get to see from the 2013 stuff. They give you this one picture in the back. And that's it. There are no pictures of the 2013 sets, but you do get a list of all of the minifigures that have come out thus far. And then here's all the sets, and they have them separated by Season 1 on this page and Season 2 on this page. But they don't give you a preview of the next sets, but we all know that there will be more, because they do have the Stone Army stuff coming, and the sets are going to be called the Final Battle. But anyway, I wanted to review the character encyclopedia for you and uh, show you the new minifigure. And so I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you'll comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks!